Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello. We have never met before. What's your name? <laughs> That's a good name. I like it. Mine. <laughs> I'm Jack. Laughing Jack. As a matter of fact. <laughs> Where are you? Well, you're at my circus. My circus. Can't you see? The tents, the carnival rides, the carnival food carts, and even the tent that you're in right now. It's on my circus. Well, uh, for a long time now, my circus has been, uh, hmm, how do you say it? Um... Abandoned. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, my circus has been abandoned for quite a while. So, I haven't had many visitors for a long, long time. And you are one of the first visitors in a very long, long time. And I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> so tell me. Are you... what are you here for? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, you're lost. <laughs> I'm glad that you got lost in my circus. <laughs> because, well, there's a lot of fun things to be do at my circus. I mean, after all, we have all sorts of things that help us have entertainment. Like, for instance, the animals. Well, I don't really know where the animals are at the time being. Because, well, usually the animal keepers keep them in touch. And I just haven't seen anybody. But there's also the trapeze. You know of trapeze, don't you? <laughs> the trapeze are one of my favorite things about my circus. Seeing the freaks balance themselves on this beam and also jumping around on it like they are some sort of spider monkey. <laughs> it's such an entertaining thing to see. Oh, well, if it hasn't, if it hasn't been obvious, I'm a clown. I make all sorts of people laugh and chuckle. Because that's my job. I'm a clown. <laughs> oh, well, um, uh, I'm not here to judge you. Because not... Every clown is everyone's, uh, cup of tea. I understand some people nowadays are scared of clowns. 
<laughs> Which I don't see any reason to be scared of clowns. Clowns are supposed to be funny, and they're also laughable. I mean, every time we would slip, get pied in the face, or something of the sort, I've always heard laughter come out of it. Not a single cry for help. Not a single cry for their mamas or anything like that. Not a single cry for stop eating my eyeballs. <laughs> Not a single one. <laughs> hmm? Oh, never mind what I said. What are you? Why? Why are you? Why are you here exactly? Are you part of those? Uh, oh. Mm, what is it called? What is it called? Paranormal investigators? Or are you just lost in general? Have you lost your way? This is it. This, uh, this uh, circus is quite close to main town roads. I don't see how you would get lost. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you got lost. Because you wouldn't have visited me now, would have you? <laughs> I finally have a visitor after a very, very long time of not having some. Well, I'm not sure, really. Most of the people that I've entertained for quite a while, I think... Hmm, they've either gone missing, or they died of natural causes. <laughs> Well, I mean, it was a long, long time ago. There was a, uh, what is it? There was a, there was a case. Yes, yes. <laughs> there was a case where there was, uh, uh, how many were there? Four! There were four kids that were missing inside of my circus. Police were everywhere when I was performing, and I didn't get questioned whatsoever because, well, I wasn't a part of the questioning. But what they did find was ragged teeth inside of one of the children's corpses that were found. But they couldn't identify the body because the eyeballs were taken out of their skulls and their faces were shredded. It looked like it was caused by a wild animal. <laughs> I wonder if that's where the animals went. They were taken away by the police officers. Or something like that. <laughs> Me? Well, I mean, I haven't had a good performance in quite a while. But I don't really have to worry about my performances because I do have myself a candy. Oh, yes. Here, Jack here, he loves his candy. Oh, I can't. Oh, I love the taste of it. <laughs> Why, it's so sweet. Delectable, even. It has such a potent taste. That I leaves uh, my mouth watering. Just thinking about it. <laughs> mm, it's making me hungry for more of that candy. <laughs> oh, but, uh, oh, it's been such a long time I haven't been able to get the right ingredients for my candy. Oh, well, when it comes down to my candy, it's a lot of, uh, oh, what is it, oh, what is it, glaze? It's a lot of flavored glaze, you see. And, you know, my candy is also not a hard candy. It's actually chewy. It's very delicious. The texture of it is delectable. <laughs> but the ingredients are quite hard to come by nowadays. 
Well, it's easy. It's sugar, maple syrup, some sort of coloring of your choices, food flavoring, such as, like, cotton candy, watermelon, cherry. <laughs> but the trickiest part of, uh, of making my candy... <laughs> <laughs> is getting the chewy part down. You see, I have very specific things that I need to have the chewy part of that candy down to its tea. <laughs> you want to know? You want to know? You want to know exactly what type of chewy part that I use for my candy? <laughs> Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I can tell you the secret to my candy. Are you ready? Are you listening? <laughs> eyeballs. I use eyeballs in my candy. <laughs> and you so happen to have two. Perfect for candy making. <laughs> mm, <yes. laughs> These would be perfect for my candy. <laughs>